Hello everyone, welcome to another week of online class. So last week I showed some tips on what you can do when you're hitting the heavy bag. One of those tips was to add in feints and fakes. So today I'm going to show you a couple of techniques I like to use using the roundhouse kick, feint and fake to set up my other strikes. So I'll just borrow Will, he's going to come in. So as I explained in the heavy bag, feint is kind of like the movement before the actual move. So we're using the roundhouse kick today, so the feint is all just going to be like a little hip, hip movement. That's the feint. Whereas the fake is when I actually start throwing the, the kick and then change it to something else. So that's the main difference between a feint and a fake. So I'll start with a feint, my favorite feint technique using uh, the roundhouse kick. It can be also used with a switch kick. So we're here. What I like to do is to use a feint to see what their reaction is. So sometimes when I do the feint, they may either start checking or they uh, begin thinking, is he going to kick or is he going to do something else? So it kind of puts them off guard a bit. That's why I like to use this feint. So the first thing what I'm going to do is begin to do the feint and I kind of move that way. And I like hop, hop, hop. And yeah, he either brings his leg up or he doesn't. And I like to throw either the right straight through the middle and then throw another kick. Or you can faint, 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 and then kick. Because they don't, it's putting them uh, off rhythm. Because they don't know the timing of your kick, because you're continuously fainting, fainting. And I'm kind of moving this way, and then I'll just throw the straight. Or I faint, 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 throw straight, and then throw the kick after. So that's a good way of getting around a strong check is to break up the rhythm and confuse them. So you can also do the same thing, I like to do the same thing uh, with a switch kick too. So I switch, and I pretend to throw a switch kick, and then I throw the cross in southpaw. So I switch my stance, it's the exact same thing, but instead of moving this way, boom, boom, I'm moving the other way because I'm in southpaw. So I switch, switch, and I throw the cross, boom. Even if they block the cross, like Will just did just then, well, well, you're going to have a much easier time to land the kick because he's blocking the cross. So, once again, it's a good way to get them off balance, off rhythm. Well, well. And it's also, uh, because I'm moving to the side, I'm pretty safe. So, once again, make sure you actually do the movement. That's what you need to do to get them so he's confused. Or if you see them covering up, you just throw the kick. So it really depends on their reaction. So you got to see how they react to your feint. So that's number one, using the roundhouse feint boom, boom, to throw the cross or the kick. Okay, so that's my favorite technique using the feint. Now I'm going to show a couple techniques I like to use with a fake roundhouse kick. So with the fake, this time, I'm actually going to throw kind of like a kick. But before uh, I go on, I forgot to mention, for these to be uh, more effective, try land a couple kicks first. So throw a couple kicks first. I don't mind yet if he checks or not. Even when the feints, you do this again. If you land the first couple kicks, he knows you're going to kick. So that's a good way to get them off rhythm. So land the first couple, that way your feint and fake is more effective. So now with the fake, so I land one or two, boom. Okay, if he doesn't check, then I'm just going to keep blasting his lower leg. But if I see Will continuously blocks the kick, oh, he's cut, catching on to my kicks. I'm not landing them as much now. Then I'm going to use a fake. So I'm actually going to kick and then push kick instead. Okay, so that's one of my favorite techniques. Kick, kick, fake the kick. Okay, so you kind of, I like to 
disguise it, but you can also just go straight for a push kick. Okay, so throw it like a roundhouse. So this time it's a fake. I'm actually throwing the technique, change to push. Once more, so I land one, or maybe I go straight after the one. So that's your fake kick to push kick. And the last technique, one of my other favorites I like to use a lot. So I want to land first two, one or two, boom. And then I'm going to fake the kick again. So I actually do the kick and I step across and I smash the supporting leg. So you don't want to get too close when you're doing this one. So after you kick, you don't want to move forwards. Because this way you're too close, you're not going to be throwing a prop kick and you might get hit. So make sure you move diagonally in this one. So kick, bump, kick, and then but So there's a couple of uh, key points. Don't move forward, move diagonally, and you gotta do the fake. So they make them uh, check first. That way you have a much higher percentage of landing that kick. So you want them to lift their leg up. The bump. You can even do it after the first kick. Just go straight away. Bump, bump. So I'm lifting my leg up to disguise it as a kick, but I'm actually stepping down in front of my front leg. And then as soon as it steps down, you bring your front leg across. And then you kick. Bump. And then you end up on an angle so it's a lot safer, yeah, Will has to face me again, square up to attack me again. So kick, bump, take the kick, step, step. So try to aim for the inner thigh, try not to hit with your toes. It's gonna to crack your toes, hit with your instep in there. So one more time, bump. Okay, so that's my fake kick, step cross, Smash the supporting leg. So let's go through all of them that I showed today. The first one is a feint. So feint, feint, throw the cross, throw another kick. Or feint, feint, once he puts his leg down, throw the kick or throw the cross after. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Or balance them, off rhythm them. Okay. And then the fake roundhouses. So if you want to land a couple, oh, he knows I'm going to kick again. I change to push kick. Or I kick, and I fake, I step across, smash the back leg. Okay, so thanks, Will. So there were some of my favorite techniques I like to use involving feints and fakes, using the roundhouse kick. There are many more techniques using the feints and fakes. I just showed a couple of my favorites. Hope you guys can try that out.